Atlantic, which was the worldwide slave trade, where they had you Negroes as Mandingos yeah. fighting each other. Oh, for in the winter, his reward is a woman and some beer for the night. Man. But you just killed your brother. Yep. So how much more in this time we coming into? You, you niggas about to kill each other over, right. over and some canned goods. Man, it's going to be castration. It's going to be rapes. It's going to be experiments done on you niggas, man. You niggas are already experimenting now. You fucking patent. They can do whatever they want. At the end, the presence of the Lord is not with you no more. Yeah. You a complete new thing. You a new thing. It says, verse 22 again, it says, How long we simple ones will love simplicity and the scorn of delight and the scorning. So our people gonna keep scorning until a fucking twister throw your ass out your house, man. Like over there in China, man. That shit who threw the fucking roof off that motherfucking man and blew your ass out of there. Yeah. Then in other parts of China, niggas are getting washed away, you know, through. That's that's the power of the Lord. Will you not fear him yeah. that have created these things? Yeah. And fools hate knowledge, man. See, fools the, hate knowledge, man. man. the Lord is, man, you guys are fools not to love the Bible, not to the Lord, bro. You guys are, oh, man, man, you guys are dumb. And I think the Lord, that he didn't make us dumb. He made us, he came, he broke us out of this world, Lord, with those numbers. This is the, this is the, this is the Lord's telling us, this is what we're getting ready to do. The Lord's going to kill a lot of people, man. Don't fucking kid yourself. The Lord is angry with a lot of you people. He's going to kill you. That's the that's the, that's all that's left. He said, hey, I gave them time to repent. They ain't come back. Death is the only thing. Yep. Death is the only teacher. <laughs> yeah, and, and don't think you you good, because you know some people, oh well, I ain't as wicked as him. You're all equally as wicked. Whether right. whatever you're doing, whether you went and took the job, whether you selling drugs, whether you, you commit adultery, uh, whether you eat uh, pork bro. and then shellfish, right. whatever the you. fuck you're doing, if you're not that's in right, this bro. truth. If you haven't repented, the Lord's gonna destroy you. You gotta remember, the Lord's gonna be an enemy. He's a man of war. If you ain't on his team, you a fucking enemy or a traitor. And you are, you, you already know what nations, these first world nations, they hate traitors. They gonna kill your ass. Make a public example. For all you two third niggas, you gonna be made a public example of why not to go against the Heavenly Father and his son and your own kind, you piece of shit. Then he gonna destroy his enemies like, like never before. He going he going to uh, invite them all to one place and going to trap their ass there in the Middle yeah, East and destroy their ass and the Samson. Yeah. 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 He going to trap them in that room yeah. and kill their ass in there, man. Go ahead, huh? Verse 23, it says, turn, you have my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. The Lord is pouring out his spirit unto you if you turn at his reproof. But he ain't going to keep pouring it out. What he's soon going to pour out is wrath. Yeah. He's doing it all over the world. You, know, you want me to cry for, for a nigga, man? No. You want me to cry for Edomite? No. You want me to cry for a heathen? No. You want me to cry for a damn baby? No. Because you all been warned. Yep. You shall all suffer the judgment, man, because yep. it's on you. Yep. It says, turn you on my reproof. I will pour out my spirit unto you. Uh -huh. And make my no make, make known my words unto you. The Lord is making known his words unto you. Did not the Lord say he's going to send pestilences? Or are they not out here? Yeah. Didn't the Lord not send earthquakes in diverse places? They out here. Yeah. Wars and rumors of wars. Oh, yeah. Now you got the report that you stupid women that want to be so equal, your ass is going to equally get a helmet, a gun, and a bullet in your ass. That's, That's right. what you're going to get. Yeah. You wanted it so, so this you is it. it. You uh, got it. <laughs> All the feminists, oh, we didn't answer. You yep. did ask for it, man. Yep. Oh, you got them alphabet people. You asked for judgment. Yep. And you gonna get it. And you know what's funny? Cause now these women are, are going to have to be drafted to this war. But remember, just before then, they was allowing the sports merge. Yep. Oh, and we were seeing you, you transgender, beating be be the yeah. shit out of you women. <laughs> so the Lord is so okay. You want to be equal to men? Well, all right. Yeah. Cause, all right. Cause yeah. men gonna be afraid in this yeah. time. Not the men of the Lord, but just men in general gonna be afraid. Cause the Lord is not playing around. <laughs> He's the most masculine entity in all that is, man. Yeah, that's right. He's going to show you what it is to be in a state of war, man. Because he is a power of war. 
He gonna bring war to this place, man. Hey, and we're with it. And we with that. Yeah, we're with that program. We're that's that. right. Yeah. You people deserve everything that's coming to you. Yeah, that's right. Hey, because yeah. the Christian church has made you niggas soft as hell. Yeah. Yep. The Lord that the Bible speaks of is not no soft character. No. Yep. He not is a Jesus. powerful. My Jesus loves everybody. Well, <laughs> well, you, well, you bug the fuck out because his name ain't <laughs> Jesus. Who the fuck is Jesus? Yo, Jesus is a goddamn devil. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is that, man? <laughs> well, well, how your Jesus save you from the cold, motherfucker? <laughs> how your Jesus save you from uh, biting and shit? shit biting bro. in there, whispering and shit. Lord, bro, wait, time out, time out, bro. Time out, bro. The reason why I'm laughing so much, because that's exactly what I just had a conversation with last fucking week. Last fucking Saturday, bro. Exactly what these niggas say. The real, the real, the real, the Jesus. <laughs> bro, wow. they don't know who the Lord is. Bro, bro, last week was my second man. I love the Lord so much. I I was mad as fuck. I missed, but I had the most beautiful thing happen to me. I, the Lord gave me a scene in this time, bro. She's a beautiful. She's telling you. She, the Lord is telling us He's got us, bro. Yep. Yes. He's telling us every member of the elect. He's got us. That's, That's right. right. And to the point, the point, the scripture is saying that. You know, we do this work in truth and sincerity. Our ch our children shall not see hell. That's right. Hell is that destruction, that that that, uh, that fire, that's that judgment that's coming. Yep. So we don't we don't need to worry, Lord willing, we keep obe being obedient to the word. Because remember, during that time, as we've been going into, uh, we're, we're in the midst of Isaiah four and one, where the women are start are going to start getting their quote unquote right mind, and the scriptures say that they shall be saved in childbearing. So there's going to be elect women pregnant with, with the men of the Lord's seed. There's going to be women joined on the men that have little children. So I mean, that what the brother's saying is true. We do this work. We don't have to fear. The judgment that's coming is for those that are enemies of your house. And, 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 and even if they don't fucking make yeah. it, they're going to come back. Right. And, and we're not going to fucking shed a tear. We understand Because <laughs> yo, Jesus, you stupid ass niggas out there afraid of death and Bro, and my Jesus, yeah. but we know that if our people die, they will come back. Right. Because that's what our God and his son promised us and told us. Yahweh Shem Shah, not Jesus the Christ. Right. That's a demon. And that's I, a damn I got demon. A, yeah. I got a real quick precept backing up what these brothers just said. Because all of these evils we are speaking of, indeed, they're going on. So this is 2 Ezra 16 and 74. Man. And we ended on this verse a lot. It says, Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, Woo! but I will deliver you from the same. Who is the Lord going to deliver from these troubles, these evils? His elect. It said he has cared for his elect. That's right. Now, this is the elect nation on the earth, but there's an elect among the elect. The rest of our people are going to die because <laughs> they're wicked and evil as hell. Yep. The Lord is not playing with you damn idiots, man. South Africa, niggas is dying, shooting shootouts and shit for food. You got these other places flooded. You got 13 states in the United States on fire. People getting evacuated from their home. The Lord is not playing with nobody. You got volcanic eruptions. You got economic collapses happening everywhere. Hey, but everything is also too in a perfect balance. Yeah. You got to remember, in, in these states, and we've seen it. Just like how you brought up how Texas was frozen. The brothers was good the whole time, straight. man. That's so, so I mean, like, regardless of all this calamity that's going around, where, wherever the Lord's sanctuary is, the Lord is going to take care of his men. Yes. Right. Scriptures say that, that we're going to mock when their fear comes. Yeah. Okay? So when desolation comes across these people and we're mocking and making fun of, I mean, that that's scriptural. But we're laughing at yeah. judgment. Yeah. You know, the scriptures say that we're going to eat, that we're going to drink. Okay, that's, right. that's talking about somebody. That's right. So somebody's gonna be under the, the, the wings of the most high, and the rest is gonna be left out to their judgment. Yeah. And it is what it is. One's gonna turn his back. Like one plus one is two, bro. Yep. The Lord's gonna turn his back <laughs> on a lot of you dummies that thought you was playing the Lord. The Lord is not mocked. He's not mocked. Yep. Whatever a man saw, that shall you also reap. Yep. So the Lord's gonna turn his back on you damn assholes, man. That turned your back against the truth. This is for you. Because, because you know what? No, that's the. I'm sorry, Chris Dolman, because. No, I'm good. The thing is, this is this. The Lord is making it simple for you to understand, man. Come back. I will, I love you. I love you. Come back to me. Hey. But you motherfuckers don't want that. And like his brother said beautifully some some time ago, he said, "Hey, Lord, Lord loves you. He forgives you. You just gotta die." Yeah. A lot of Jake. <laughs> the Lord was like, "All right, man, I love you. You know, I'm gonna forgive you. It's just straight. It's cool." 
But you gotta die. Hey, why That's not? We way. die. We Shit, die. We die. Woo. We gave up everything yeah. we once loved in this world. Yeah, all right, all the all of the uh, pleasures Man. we we had in this world, we gave up all that Woo. shit. Well, then at the same time, the Lord has been punishing us still. That's right. Even to this day, we've Man. been uh, punished. So we die. We yeah, well, but we repented. So how much more you evil, wicked ass people? You will die. And for you and for y'all, it's like it's the idea of euthanization to put someone to death that's in pain. So if that out of that love, hey, that's real love. To hey, put y'all hey, yeah. right? We're gonna put a blood in And right. Salaka, one more quick point. Like the brother was speaking of uh, balance, it wouldn't be balance for you people not to suffer and hey, die. You had to, because like I mentioned, how uh, we we died to the world, we gave up all our pleasures, but here we are, and you people are, are you still living up. Yeah, living it up. Yeah. You, you women are still being whores. We go through the furnace of affliction. You're reaping all the benefits. Well, yep, we going society. through the furnace of affliction, yep. but you niggas going to actually go through the furnace, man. Of 